how to find royalty free music for DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm going to show you. So there's many reasons why you would want to have royalty free music when you're DJing with DJ Pro. And a couple examples are if you want to produce a mix, maybe like a half hour mix or a one hour mix and then put it on YouTube or you might want to even put it on Spotify or something like that and you want to make sure that you don't have copyrighted music so that the, the track or the mix that you produce is your property and no one else can claim it. So there's a couple of ways to do this inside DJ Pro. And the first one that I'm going to show you is with uh, streaming services. So we're going to go over here to the streaming service title. And then we're going to search. It's really simple. You just search royalty free EDM. So let's just say we want to make an EDM mix using royalty free music. And now all of these songs are royalty free. So it's royalty free DJs. Um, we got fist pumping big room. Let's see what that sounds like. I think my volume faders are down. Make sure those are up. So this is good if you want to practice doing beat mat matching, maybe show off your skills with beat matching, show off your skills with drop mixing and using these royalty free EDM songs, you are completely allowed to use these in a DJ set. You could post them on YouTube, you could post them wherever you want, and it's still your property when you mix and it won't get taken down. Because a lot of DJs, especially with the pandemic and everything going on, they are home more and they want to DJ and do live streams on YouTube, do live streams on Twitch, and really get themselves out there as an artist. And if you use royalty free or you use if you use music with royalty or copyrighted music, some of the platforms that you try to DJ on will take it down. So using these royalty free tracks that are right here inside a title is one way of getting around that. And yeah, they're not going to be the big name name songs or the most popular songs in the world because those ones obviously have copyrights, but you'll still be able to get some good EDM songs or some good hip hop songs that you could do your mixing skills with and then post it wherever you want and not have to worry about uh, any royalty. Also, if you have, if you like to teach people how to DJ, you have a small DJ school or you do lessons or even you make tutorial videos like I do, then you could use these in your examples when you're teaching people how to mix and teaching people how to scratch and stuff. And now these tracks, you could also find royalty free scratch. So you could also find these royalty free scratch beats. So let's just double it over here. And then with these royalty free scratch beats, you could use the scratch tool that is already provided into DJ Pro and there's no copyright on that. So if you hold down the music button over here, you will get access to the scratch tool. And then you could play one of these scratch beats and you could scratch over it. And then this will be your property with the recording that you do. I think that one was an actual scratch sample. Let's see if we can get a beat. Beats and loops. So let's see what we got here. So you guys could let your creativity run wild. I made other videos on how to find these tracks and then load them into a playlist, into your scratch playlist. So it's right there. So if you're DJing live and you just want to jump into scratching, there you go. And just be careful if you plan on recording these scratches. Let's say you wanted to make a recording and then you would go up here to 
record and then start a new recording, it's going to say recording not available while using songs from a streaming service. So just keep that in mind that you're not going to be able to record it like that. But if you want to record the whole thing, you could go over here and do a screen recording with volume, which is what I do in these videos. And then everything that you are doing on your iPad will be recorded with perfectly good sound quality. So that's one way of getting around not being able to record songs that are that are from a streaming service. And with this, when you make the screen recording of it, you'll be able to use that and it's royalty free. It's just pro the app is programmed to not let you record stuff from streaming services because most of the songs are copyrighted. Now another way <clears throat> another way to get copyright free music inside DJ Pro is by creating your own. So you could go over here, let's go to pro mode. You go over here to the looper and set a loop. And now with these loops, you are able, if, as long as we eject the songs from the streaming service, so eject that, and then we go to record. Now this is recording, and we could scratch over it. And then we could also add some samples to it. So that's just an example. I know it wasn't perfect. So we're gonna go pause it. And then we take this recording, stop recording, and then we can load this into a deck. And now this track is a copyright free track that we just created. And if you guys wanna add to it, add vocals and stuff to it, what you could, can do is you could load up vocals that you recorded over here. See what this is. So that's a vocal that I recorded, and then you guys could start a new recording. Start a new recording. Play the beat that we made. And again, this is just a sample. It's not the way I would actually do that. Now we go over here and then we load it into a deck. And now, so now we have a royalty free track that we just made with vocals and you can use this track for anything. You could post it on YouTube. You could even put it on Spotify or other streaming services because it is your property. You made it with the looper and then you used your own recordings and you could add scratching and then you could keep layering these up. So you keep doing recordings of recordings of recordings and then make it into a final product of a song. So I hope this got, this helped you guys be a little more creative with your DJing and think out of the box a little bit more. So if you like learning how to do new stuff with DJ Pro and learning how to do more stuff with your iPad when it comes to DJing, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.